Welcome. Welcome. To the, the celebrated, celebrated nightly news of, of Calabrese County. County. And I'm John. And I'm Sarah. And Thanks we're back for stopping again. by. Mm -hmm. You know, we just tend to just show up here nightly like this, don't yes, we? Yes, we do. Yeah. And I mean, we're it's just, just here um... every night at 5.30 <laughs> yeah. and a replay at 10. <laughs> and a replay at 10. There you go. Um, there was a few things going on. There was on. a few things. A there few was a few things. things going on. For those of you who woke up this morning with smoke, Nearby, there was a fire that could have smelled a couple different ways. Oh, um, yes, no, that's anyway, right. there was the big news of today is technically in Tuolumne County, but just on mm -hmm. the south side of the river. Yes, um, off of Italian Bar Road, there was a marijuana grow mm -hmm. that was ignited about 11 p.m. last that's night. Mm -hmm. And we talked to a couple, and obviously, the official cause is still under investigation and that type of stuff. But we did mm -hmm. talk to a couple people off the record, so to speak, so we can tell you, some, but mm -hmm. um, they left in a hurry, so it was not a purposeful set, for example, they left yeah. some, there was ostensibly Mexican nationals in a marijuana grow mm -hmm. off of Italian Bar Road in Tuolumne County, yes. they left in a hurry, they left behind firearms, mm -hmm. they left behind product, Yes. Um, so it was. Um, it was like, oops, we better go. Yes. There was. There was some reason why they were taking off in a hurry. Yeah, it was one of those. And, oops, uh, we're out of here. So and the fire ignited. Fire ignited. Um, Thirty. To, it was about 30, 40 acres this morning. It mm -hmm. grew to about a hundred. Yes. Um, there were three firemen injured. Mm -hmm. um, Minorly, so yes. there was a broken arm, an yeah. injured ankle, ankle. and mm -hmm. also um, another one. Um, and I don't think we know what the other one was. I know, but they were minor injuries. They well, if you consider a broken exactly. arm yeah, minor, relatively but minor, relatively exactly. minor. So I guess it's. Um, uh, and the other good thing and is Cal contained. Fire. They jumped on it. Yeah, officially mm -hmm. they're calling contained um, mm -hmm. just after 5 p.m. or thereabouts. One of the Today. things is there was some wind kicked up in the afternoon. Yes. Um, and you know what? We had one of our we sent one of our reporters. That's right. On the spot. Reporter. Yes, on the spot. And we will see what what he did. You know, on yeah. the spot here. So we're going to. I think it's John. Our, our big screen. Yes, our I think big it's, John. No, but I think it was, uh, I think we were going to John in the field. John in that, the field. Yeah, I think that's what it was. And here we go. Yes, here we are. And we'll launch our little video here. Uh-oh. Hey, I'm on the wrong screen, so we'll put it, there we go. We'll put John over there. And we'll pause it. And we, where is... We'll make Big John really big, right? We'll make the we bigger go. screen. Beautiful Full screen. screen. There we go. Oh, hey. Yeah. Let's play. We'll play. Oh, there we go. Let's go back. You may, you may recognize that guy. Here off Italian Bar Road in Columbia. And behind me, you may still hear a little bit of... Uh, he does look vaguely familiar. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Oh, well uh, reporter's multitask here. Yes. I'm wondering if our, yeah, okay. I just want to make sure our viewers see Yeah, this is kind of what we told you, illegal marijuana grow. Who were you playing with this when got started? It looks like they do have a handle on it, though, but this has been a busy place all day. There's been loads and loads of fire equipment personnel into this area. There's all Everybody was out for this. We're talking about media coverage. There was News 10, Channel 3. Um, This is stuff that we kind of told you a little bit. Great job, and all the uh, corresponding agencies. I know there were people responding to this one from not just Cal Fire, but also County, and, yes. uh, mm -hmm. and I think this, um, the uh, Forest Service also yes, sent yes, personnel yes. and some mm -hmm. equipment to this one as well. So, so thanks to everyone involved, and as you can still hear it, they're, you know, they're not calling this one out yet because uh, the, there is a little bit of a breeze, so they probably want to make yeah. sure they get it really knocked down. 
Have you heard enough? Yeah, I not think yet. You have it's it? It's almost done. Oh. A couple minor injuries to some of the firefighters. See? There was an arm injury and also an ankle injury. Oh. Luckily, nothing worse. Oh. Um, and it looks like a great job. Everybody's getting another fire out. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, there we See, go. we had told you most of that before. So far, you know, it's well, just... Uh, we're having a nasty one. There, there we, we go. go. Yeah, we had that dead guy, you'd... That's, you'd seen yes. enough of him. You know, it's... Yeah, you'd seen enough of him. <laughs> so but the that, other that one... was uh, the Indian bar one. Italian bar. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Italian well, bar. Well, it could be an Indian bar, too. Could be. And one of the things is, let's go to one little, more little fun piece, is mm -hmm. we're going to go to Channel 3. I haven't had a chance they to watch this. They had a copter out there, they? had a copter out there this morning, and... Mm -hmm. John Hamilton was dry, was flying the. It was uh, oh, that's yeah, right. Yeah, he's Hamilton. the famous one. The famous so, one. You know, it, it, <laughs> 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 yeah. He was probably a military pilot. And Something. All that yeah, all that yeah. fun stuff. You know, it's just basically, you know, I had to stand on the ground in front of a parked truck <laughs> and talk. So here we go. Uh, let's see here. And what we're pulling this up is where's our fire? Here oh, we they go. may have pulled it off already. Oh, they wouldn't have done that. That's a video team Be coverage. Video team coverage. Whoa, Here we hey, go. Hey, video team coverage. And it looks like... Oh, here we go. Walt Gray's talking. So, hey, let's, uh, let's take it over here. Oh, Richard Barrow was there, too. Here we go. See, they'll probably be excited that we're playing their news. Of course. So, whoops, you Look probably can't hear. Volume's probably a little low. Let's, Let's see. Okay, it's Rich Ibera from Channel Three. He's, yes. he's there in the same parking in a parking lot there at uh, Columbia State Park. There we go. Oh, Here's we the go. live copter fire uh, yes. footage. In 3 HD. In 3 HD. We don't have a copter, and we're not in HD. <laughs> we're in digital, though. Digital's good. <laughs> but um, this, one, this fire had all the big media here. It did. Yeah. It did. See, there we go. And from listening to listen to reports yeah, this morning, basically he hovered at about, oh, wow, what was it, 6,500 feet? For a long time, um, I have heard that. Yeah, for so, quite a while. See, let's look at let's look at News Ten here real quick. Let's see. I'll pull it up here. You want uh, News Ten? Don't. News Ten, huh? Let's see, because they were they had people out there too. There we go. There we go. Here we see. Everybody's got the uh, Air Ten above fire. See, everybody's yes. calling it just the pot fire and all that kind of stuff. So let's see. Yeah. So, this one had everybody out. Yes, it did. Okay. Okay. All right. That's enough of that. That's enough of that. But okay. basically, News Ten, Channel Three, and they are okay. still there now. They are getting ready to. Um, they are broadcasting there. You could tell they had the satellite trucks when we just uh, when we left the area. Your and head. Your your uh, hmm? camera. Your, yes. Your there we go. Web, Back to our little camera. Yes. Web so. Camera. Mm -hmm. That's so kind all of the, the top. All, all the big guys were there. Yes, and including John, Big John. And from unfortunately, the, the only size we I have is physically. There's not. <laughs> it was girth, but girth. that was <laughs> okay. <laughs> and. Uh... <laughs> That's on to other that. news. Yes, on to on other to, news. On yes. to our, our normal... Uh, Weightier topics, Weightier topics, say. exactly. But What's good job, happening? Good yes, job, Cal Fire. Great mm -hmm. job. Um, and They've let's done just a really good job of just yeah. getting things out this year. And the, you hope they can keep it up. But there, right. there is this feeling, because this wasn't the only fire today. I know. There was another one that was, um, where there was four small spot fires down off J-59, mm -hmm. similar to a start like that 500-acre one last week on Highway yes. 4. Mm -hmm. But the problem for these guys for Cal Fire is they have, if they have to fight too many incidents on the same day, 
Their something's going to get away. Exactly. Some, you know, exactly. it's just so... And they had the Tahoe fire last night. Yes. Mm -hmm. so. so a lot of the same air, air tankers and air personnel that were working that one last night. Mm -hmm. Because you think of Tahoe as quite a ways away, but for example... It's only like 50 miles as it's the crow not that, flies. It's not that is, far. You know, it's a long yeah, ways really to get there, but as yeah. the crow flies, it's it's not too bad. not not that yeah. yeah not not that far away. Not I that far. Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess is this our entertainment? This is issue? our entertainment okay. issue. So we'll swerve away from fires. Swerve away from fires. Away from fires. And one of the first things before we even talk about the weekend happenings is that there will be sobriety checkpoints in Angels Camp this weekend. So they're checking to see if you're sober? That's right. They have announced that they will be checking people coming through Angel's Camp for sobriety. Okay. Which is sort of interesting. Well, we thought so because if, you if know, the object if is you to you deter for sobriety, it's a good idea to announce it. But That's right. But if you're right. trying to catch people inebriated, then... But they wouldn't be able to put them it. anywhere. That's the problem because of the jail. Oh, I see. See, where would they put them if they found them? Intoxicated and right. driving. We, okay. we took a tangent here. Yeah, yeah, we took a uh, left turn here. There's a, there's a question there. But anyhow, yeah. okay, so Angels Camp, Friday Checkpoint, all day, I believe, Saturday. Yes. And uh, so watch out for that, and you shouldn't be drinking and driving anyway. No. See, there's my thought. Yeah. There's my, the, my mother instinct right there. But anyhow, okay. What else is happening? You have your little what's happening? I have my what's happening. Um, let's see. I guess one of the things we were going to touch on is um, if it's okay. We're is something that's not this events, weekend. Future events. Mm -hmm. um, because there was one that is, oh, let's go to it. Well, we should probably talk about the blood drive then if we're, if we're going to okay. detour right. a little bit into if future gonna, events. If we're going to swerve. Far future events and then future right. events that are nearby. Okay, all right. <laughs> August 28th on Tuesday, the Delta Blood Bank in, in conjunction with the Arnold's Lion Club is having a blood drive. And that will be at Independence Hall on Blagan Road. All day, I believe. All day? All day. So if you are of the mind to go and donate blood, there's a perfect opportunity. There is. There's just right in the neighborhood, right there. And we'll see. We'll try our little toys okay. here. We'll see. And as he work. brings up the scenic celebration, which is the 15th of September, isn't it? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. And uh, there we go. And one of the things is, this is the inaugural event for the Ebbets Pass National Scenic Byway. Scenic Byway. Mm -hmm. And there is going to be events basically throughout, all over the place. So there will be programs, and there will be programs at starting in Arnold, mm -hmm. at Serafina's and Camp Comfort there. Then there's yes. then there will be at the Dorrington Hotel, Camp mm -hmm. Connell, Bear mm -hmm. Valley, Lake Alpine, Hermit Valley, and Markleyville. Yes. So, all so there the will be. Pass. And this is a kind of a fun thing, and um, there's going to be all kinds of stuff to do. So if mm -hmm. you haven't taken the byway, so for example, let's say you're a local and you drive mm -hmm. up to Bear and stuff, take the date and go on all over the way to Tar, over. go it's to Markleyville, you know, to take it to take it to Markleyville. Mm -hmm. So in yep, so that's September 15th. That's September 15th, all day long, all day, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Which is more than enough time to drive over the pass and come back again. Is it? Mm-hmm. All right. It doesn't take that long to go over the pass. No, it really doesn't. It doesn't, and, and it's just beautiful. It's kind of interesting to talk to um, talk to some people in up in Bear Valley, and mm -hmm. where they're saying is this time of year, or actually when, as soon as the pass opens, mm -hmm. is it's the same amount of time for them to go to Sonora. If they need to do oh, a Walmart really? run, as it is to go to oh, Tahoe. To Carson, oh, to Tahoe. So basically, they'll do, or maybe Carson maybe men too. That, yeah, yeah maybe men too. But away, they'll do though. a, they'll go the other way. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Huh. Okay. There you go. There we go. Okay. Friday, sixth annual Arts Bear Valley Art in the Park at the Big Tree State Park is still going on at Jack Knight Memorial Hall. Yes, it is. And that will be 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. daily. And 10 to 5 on Saturday and Labor Day weekend. So this is another one that's going out into uh, the future beyond just this weekend. And what this says is it showcases Bear Valley artists. Uh -huh. And those actually in, in the mother load because it's not just Bear Valley people. 
and also and also yes. to mention there yes. is that if you're a big tree state park and you mentioned mm -hmm. you are going to the art show yes you get free admission which is kind of a cool thing yeah so you can mm -hmm. go to Jack Knight Hall mm -hmm. um, and also going down to Copperopolis yes they're having tunes on the terrace mm -hmm. at Saddle Creek Come enjoy this uh, this Under the Stars free summer concert starring the James Richards Blues Band. Yes. Eat, drink, dance, and be merry. Mm-hmm. Optional patio cuisine buffet will be offered for fifteen dollars a person. Old fashioned milk, milkshakes, cold wine, beer, cold, and your yeah. favorite bleep tails will be available. Oh. <laughs> Well, I've never quite seen that before. No, so. Did you see that? There where it says that, where it says bleep It tales. says bleep tales. See, we have something on our site, thepinetree.net, that if there is what if it senses what it appears to be an offensive word, oh. it will replace it oh. with bleep. Oh, so. I have never seen that before. <laughs> I'm like, I've never heard them call that before. So, so okay. it sensed a word that may have a meaning other than adult beverages and bleeped it. Okay. Now I know. Now I know. Okay. <laughs> and um, also Fresh Fridays at Utica Park for Calaveras Grown, fresh vegetables and fresh other, vegetables uh, and uh, flowers and all those good things that we grow here in Calaveras County. And our compadres at the Calaveras Enterprise are mm -hmm. back on stage and stop the presses. She's not my type. Yes. And this is at the Black Bart Playhouse. Mm -hmm. In Murphy's. So. And most of the players are from the Enterprise. Yeah. So it's uh, kind of a play on reality. A little bit. A little bit. A little, a little bit. bit. Tickets are ten dollars and eight dollars for children and seniors. Make reservations by calling seven two eight 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 four two. Purchase your tickets at Murphy's Black Bart Players dot com. Yes. Very and nice. also, if you're in the drama mood, that's right. Murphy's Creek Theater presents Humble Boy, which is their and that's third, actually starting tonight. Yes, their third production of this season, and it will be from August 23rd to September 15th, with an additional additional show on Sunday, September 2nd, and there will be no show on Saturday, September 8th. Tickets are $18 in advance, $20 at the door, and groups of 10 or more. Get a discount at fifteen dollars each. And if you want to find out more about that, seven two eight eight four two two, or you can purchase tickets online at Murphy's Creek Theater dot org, or at the Murphy's at Moon downtown at the Murphy's at Moon Alley three three two Main Street. And that's at Stephen O Winery. And the next event coming up is the. We'll try to go Can to our screen here. Can you tell he's playing with his new toy We're here? We're playing with toys again. So we play, adjusted our screen resolution so it should look a little better. And mm -hmm. Mountain Adventure Seminars is sponsoring. They're up there in Bear Valley. This is their mm -hmm. annual uh, Adventure Sports Festival. Okay? And this one has, and we'll just go down through here. And that's actually Saturday and Sunday, August 20th. Saturday and Sunday up Saturday. in Bear Valley. They have rock climbing events, they have mountain biking, they have road cycling, kayaking. Um, they have a full schedule. Yes, they do. So how they're billing it is if you are into human-powered recreation, there's something for you. Oh, so they'll nice. be having for On Lake Alpine, uh, all the rest for, of that stuff. For beginners and above. Beginners and above. Mm -hmm. And for example, on mountain biking, if you want to take your mountain biking stuff up, they have the Grizzly Challenge, Take It Easy Tours. So they have basically things that will blow your lungs completely out of yes. your body. Or <laughs> just a casual ride up in the beautiful scenery. That's right. That's so right. So there you go. And the Grizzly Challenge, 21 miles, 4 to 6 hours, mm -hmm. fitness level, very difficult. Very yes. difficult. So then they have the Take It Easy Tours. Mm -hmm. Which is Not the so beginning to moderate for 25 bucks includes a t-shirt and dinner. And then here is my favorite, where you just take the shuttle. 
<laughs> and the shuttle is ten dollars if you want to. Do you put take. your bicycle on the shuttle? Doesn't matter. I wouldn't be riding it anyway. So it's just basically my favorite was the shuttle. Okay. <laughs> all right. Okay. And also all day, Camp Connell summer music series is back on. Back in action. Back in action. And uh, actually, we're jumping the gun on this. Next we are. One is until September second. Oh. So, we will just go on to Native American cave painting tours. Native American cave mm -hmm. painting. Wow. 8 a.m. And the tour ends at about 2 p.m. Call 772-8260 for info because we don't know where it is either. And they are having the... So call for directions and to RSVP. So somewhere in Calaveras County. Well, we better Maybe hurry here, huh? geocaching things. Maybe. Yes. Okay. Okay. Fireman's Fun Day. This is about the, what, the 40th annual or something yes, like that? Yes, this is an annual Angels event camp. in Angels Camp. You get to bring the kitties out to go for fire truck rides mm -hmm. and everything else. Unless they're out actually fighting, fighting a fire. Yeah. Exactly. Um, Volunteer Fire Department. And let's see. They're, fix, they're fixing chicken tri-tip. Chicken tri-tip. Spaghetti dinner served from 12 noon to 6 p.m. $12 for adults, $6 for children. And that's a pre-sale. So if you get those Thursday or Friday, that's the pre-sale. $15 for adults and $7 for children at the door. At the door. Okay, Ten Angels and Camp, and Angels Camp. Food Mart, Middleton's, Angels Police Department, Alpine mm -hmm. Trading, Spence Feed, Calaveras Lumber, Angels Visitor Center, and Mother Load Propane. Exactly, our sponsors of the event. 10 yes. a.m. on, this is, we're still on Saturday. There's a lot going on on Saturday. Free Open Garden Day by the Master Gardeners of Calaveras County out there at the Government Center at their demonstration garden from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. So you get gardening information and planting information for our area from the master gardeners out there, and it's what a, a really deal. cool thing to go to. Mm -hmm. And let's see. Here. Moving on, we moving have on. the uh, there's the art in the park in Bear Valley, which we it's talked about, mm -hmm. and also we have the Salt Springs. Bass tournament. Bass tournament. Open to all anglers. Registration is 5.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. with a blast off. Or I'm assuming that's a.m. Mm -hmm. With a blast off at 7 a.m. Because don't they usually fish? Very early. Very early? Very early. Okay. Salt yes. Springs Bass Tourney. Okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. Back to school night at 1861 in Columbia State Park. Now, this sounds actually kind of cool. It's 5.30 p.m. Actually, most things sound kind of cool to me. So... Uh, 5.30 to 8 p.m. You have a low, cool threshold. I have threshold. a, low, a yeah. very low, cool threshold. I'm like, hey, that sounds cool. <laughs> um, and you'll enjoy live music, schoolyard games, and classroom sessions led by costumed interpreters out there at Columbia. Costumed interpreters? Yes, costumed interpreters inside the old brick schoolhouse on so the hill. So they won't be like Vladimir Putin? No, they won't okay. be shirtless. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. So the event is free and it's out there at Columbia State Historic Park. All right. Not too far away. And if that if you haven't been to that schoolhouse, that's a very cool. It's up on the hill. Yes, it is. is. Um, and also stop the presses mm -hmm. back in um, on Saturday night as well as Humble Boy. That's right. And, and if you're into more music, Cedar Center live music is Groovy Judy. Groovy, Groovy Judy. Judy in downtown Arnold. Mm -hmm. And here we go. Cedar Center Arnold presents Groovy Judy. Positive funk rock from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Free admission. Picnic tables available on a first come, first, first served sir. basis. There's Maybe it's first seat, seated. Because seated. Did Maybe. You, are they going to serve you a table? I don't think so. Okay. But you All can right. sit at one. Yes. So first come, first seated. Yes. Those and, are very well attended. And dancing is encouraged. Yes, definitely. Okay. All right, Sunday. Murphy's Creek Theater, Humble Boy. Yes, Humble yes. Boy. Bear Valley Adventure Sports Festival still on, on Sunday. With their huge list of events. Huge list. Mm -hmm. Mountain Growers Farmers Market. So if you exactly. need, so need some organic, organic fruit and veggies, mm -hmm. go to the Cedar Center. Out there in Arnold. Yep. And uh, Art in the Park still going on at Big Tree State Park. And More Stop the Presses. Stop they will the presses. have a... 
That's the Sunday matinee. The Sunday matinee at uh, Sutter Creek. Creek. So if you didn't get to see them Saturday after or Saturday evening in Murphy's, you can see them Sunday afternoon, 2 p.m. at Sutter Creek Theater, which is kind of cool. Now, we're going to take you weather. on a tour of the weather. Yes, starting up in Arnold, which is kind of where we're at right now yeah. anyway. Yes. A low of 64 tonight, a high of 92 tomorrow, a high of 90 on Saturday, and a high of 85 on Sunday. So a slight cooling trend. Mm -hmm. Bear Valley actually looks really good this weekend. Tonight, a low of 54 degrees. Friday, a high of 84 degrees. Saturday, 84 degrees. And Sunday, 79 degrees. Murphy's, low of 63 tonight, high of 95 tomorrow. And we hit the hot, hot, hot Scorching thing. Hot. Yes. On, um, you know, and we better show them what we what that little hot thing looks like. Yes, Here that's we go. why let's, we go. It, this it is makes why you it, warm. Yes, just, just looking, looking at, at it. it. So let's go here. Let's see here. Murphy, see right there. there it is. Oh, see this it's, little thing right there? It just jumps out of its head. It's like, yes. ow, yes. ow. It's just, it's not nice. It just jumps out of you. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. just, you know. It's okay. just not nice. I guess I better look at a banger. Yes, Angels Camp weather tonight, low of 65 degrees. Friday, high of 93 degrees. Saturday, a high of 92 degrees. And Sunday, a high of 88 degrees. And I should probably... Okay, that. there we go. And I, and tomorrow, banger, or banger Maine, 74 tomorrow with a low of 64. A little bit of um, lightning, no thunder. Mm -hmm. Saturday, rain. And Sunday rain. So, yeah. there it is. Copperopolis. Yes. You are looking at 99 degrees tomorrow, 98 degrees on Friday, 95 on Saturday, 94 on Sundays. Looks like just a, just a slight, a, little bit a of slight, that. slight chilling trend going into the weekend. Yes. Let's see what we've got for Valley Springs. Well, I will pull up a one last little video as we go out. Let's see here. It takes a long time for my little thing to load. And while we're while we're talking about weather, these are shots that we're gonna put up on the pine tree.net later of Okay, Thursday. 97 degrees, Friday 97 degrees. This is, remember, Valley Springs, Saturday 93 degrees, Sunday 91 degrees, and Monday 96 degrees. Wow. So a little cool, and then shoots right back up on Monday. And what we have is a little bit of video that uh, we'll be Big putting Tree's up on the site from family. Big Tree's Family Day. Mm -hmm. So we'll go out with a bit of Family Day from yes. Big Tree State Park. There's costumed people with the horse-drawn yes. horse rides. Look at that. Step back in time, shall we say? Mm -hmm. And then they had uh, birds and snakes Ooh. and reptiles. They Ooh. had kids' crafts. Mm -hmm. So All if you missed the first year, put it on your calendar for next, next year. year. Absolutely. And that's it. That's it. That's I guess it. that's all we have. We that's really appreciate we you stopping by. Mm -hmm. We really, really do. And you go have a great weekend. Yes. And we will see you back here on Monday. On Monday. Yes. And hopefully nothing burns or does, does anything, anything strange over the weekend. So. Exactly. Good Thank night. you. Good night.